Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. Antiques shoppers, your treasures await at next weekend's Antiques Extravaganza show in the State Fairgrounds in Raleigh. Our Collecting Carolina producer, Julia Carpenter, goes shopping with a little help from a special friend from the series. I asked Michael to join me once again on an antiquing shopping trip to the Antiques Extravaganza. After all, who wouldn't want to be with an expert? This is such a popular antique show that customers come back time and time again to shop with their favorite dealers and in search of a gift or something for a personal collection. Julia, shows like this you can find some really special items. Just like this North Carolina basket here. This is attributed to the Shelton sisters of Rural Hall. They were very famous for their tightly woven baskets. Can I see it? These oh. baskets can go from $1,500 to $7,000. Okay. <laughs> That's expensive. Yes. <laughs> the variety of items is huge, from the old to the new, with objects that will take you back to another era. Michael, I think I know what this is. What is that? It's a candle snuffer. That's exactly right. And it's unusual to have its original base. And some people say that's where we get the expression, cut the light out. Oh, I can see that. And look at this great item here. This is an absence glass with its original spoon. You would put the spirit in the glass. Then you would put sugar cubes on top and drizzle water through it to sweeten the drink. Very unusual to have the glass and the spoon together. From collections of books to linens, pots to posters, Everywhere you turn your head, something catches your eye. Julie, these shows are a great place to find that missing silver spoon from your pattern. Perhaps this is yours. Maybe. <laughs> oh, but I found a nail buffer. <laughs> what once was an inexpensive souvenir now becomes a treasured memory and collectible. Michael has spotted a unique antique a piece of painted North Carolina furniture. Libby, why do you think this unique North Carolina painted piece was used for? It's the most intriguing question, Michael, because I really don't know. I've never seen a form like this before. I think it could have been something very important because the drawers are all locked, right. and they might have kept something valuable in here. So it could have been a server or um, some kind of a small cupboard to hold important documents. And I don't think it would have been a wash tank because you don't see any splash marks or any Correct. water marks here. Correct. I think it's just um, unique in that it's a folk art, paint decorated, all original North Carolina piece. Antiques and collectibles shopping can be so much fun. And for some, it's a lifetime business and passion. We started in 1977. Uh, we had an antique shop and some of us were just sitting around bemoaning the fact that there were no antique shows around. So that's how we started. We decided to start one. We usually have 85 to 100 dealers. They come from throughout the United States, mainly the eastern part, uh, with everything from small items up to high-end items. We have uh, three shows in Raleigh a year and two in Richmond a year. Uh, they bring dealers from all over the United States and we have many, many followers to, to all these shows. Each time you return, there will be something new to catch your eye. So put the Antiques Extravaganza shows on your Antiques and Collectibles calendar. For North Carolina Weekend and Collecting Carolina, I'm Julia Carpenter. The Antiques Extravaganza is at the Exposition Center at the North Carolina State Fairgrounds in Raleigh, and it runs November 20th through the 22nd. For more information, go to their website at antextofnc.com. For more information on this series, Collecting Carolina, go to our website, unc.tv slash collectingcarolina, and our series partners at ncmuseumofhistory.org.